Okay, so the first step um, when editing your Zen cart is you're going to go to your admin page and you're going to log in. You type in your username, which I've already done here, and then your password, and then you're going to click log in. And this will take you to your basically the back end of your Zen cart. Um, this will likely be customized to have your own logo, possibly changing the colors, but the layout is basically the same. Um, you're going to primarily pay attention to the area that's called catalog. Under the catalog um, heading, if you actually click on catalog, you'll get a whole list of all of the options um, from the whole menu bar. Um, if you click on any of the, the, ma the, the main level headers, this is what you'll come up with. Don't worry, it's no mistake. It's just an unstyled um, site map of all the links. So anyway, you're going to go to catalog. We'll go back. and you're going to go Categories and Products. Okay, so in another window, I've got the version of the Zen cart, basically what you see. This is the straight out of the box installation. No styling, it looks pretty shitty, but um, yours obviously will look better than this. Um, but right now we don't have any products in, in our categories. So what we're going to do, uh, now that we're in the Categories Products top, you have to first, before you can add, you can add a product to just the general ether of, of your Zen cart, but um, if you have no products, you want to start with a category. This gives you some wiggle room later on to add completely different categories um, and to just give your, your products some kind of separation. So you're going to fill in your category name, and I'll just name it test, and then your description. This is a test. And if you want a category image, um, that's not necessary though. You can browse your desktop. And it's just like attaching an email. You would browse, go to the location of it, and pick an image. But I'm, I'm not going to um, make an image for the category because this isn't really the point. I'm just trying to show you how to add a product. So you're going to save your category. And so now we have test. So um, you all are probably at the point where you already have a category created, possibly with some products installed. But if you want to either edit a product or add a new one, this is where, where you're going to need to be. So um, you're going to go into the category by clicking on the folder and you're going to add a new product. Okay, now um, you always want your product status to be in stock. If it's out of stock, obviously people can't buy it and that's a problem. You do not need to fill out the date available. You can if it's going to be something that will be um, included in your store in the future but is not ready at present time, but you can just leave it. Products manufacturer, again, if you've set up to have those set up in your cart, you can add that. It's not necessary. Firstly, we're going to start off, start off with the product's name. I'll just call it test product. Okay, and these are all generally toggled to the correct option because product is free, no. Product is called for price, no. And product is priced by attributes, no. Um, okay, so tax class. Most um, online purchases don't really have tax applied, so I generally have none. And then your product's price net and gross is generally going to be the same. So if you type in a number for either category, it will auto-fill auto -fill the other. So I'm, I'm going to say it's $18 just for fun. Um, if your product is virtual, that means like it's either an ebook or a subscription, you can say yes and skip the shipping address. But for most people, it's going to be no shipping address required, always free shipping no normal shipping rules um, and so basically yes show quantity box you want to leave these things alone product quantity minimum is one in order for them to purchase it if you have a finite amount of a certain product that a person can buy without contacting you you can put a maximum in the box and say I want I don't want anyone to be able to order more than 20 of these off of my store and then product quantity units is generally one okay so you can you feel safe to leave all those settings alone. Product description, I'm going to write this is a test. And then products quantity, you have to fill this out because this is how the Zencart um, knows that you have the product in stock and uh, the quantity of your inventory. So it has to be at least one for it to not be shown out of stock. Generally, you know, if you've got a pretty um, 
flexible flexible inventory. Um, you can throw in a hundred if you really only have twenty in stock and you need to be made aware of when when your product is low. Just say twenty. It's basically however much you've got um, ready to ship. You can put that in your quantity, but something has to be put in. Products model again that can be left alone. Now, if you want a picture of your product, you can either if you don't want one, you can obviously just leave it alone and, and go from there. But generally, you want a picture, so you're going to browse. And again, this is just like attaching a picture in an email. I've got a, an image of my logo saved on my desktop, so I'm going to click on that, and it's going to open. And so it'll just put in the um, location on your system of where the where it is. You can select where you want it to upload to. I would just leave it set in main directory. Um, Delete image, no. Uh, override existing image on server, yes. This is in case um, you already have that image, or if you're, just to make sure that the right image is applied to your product, you generally want to overwrite it. Um, if the product image has already been uploaded for another product and you just want to duplicate it, you can just select, you know, type in the file name. Shipping weight. If you um, are calculating shipping based on the weight of your products, you need to fill in a shipping weight so that people will be charged appropriately. So you can say 0.25. It's calculated in pounds, so it would be a quarter of a pound. And sort order, um, if you want these products to be ordered in a certain way once they're, once they're viewed, zero always comes first. So any product that has a sort order of zero will automatically go to the top. You can say one, two, three, four, a million. If you always want it at the bottom, it does not matter. So now we're going to scroll over to the right, and if you've got it all filled in correctly, you can click Preview. Good. So this is your image. Your price is correct, and over here you've got the title and the description. So you can't just um, navigate away. You actually have to click Insert. You can go back if it's messed up or cancel if you decide you don't want to add it. So we're going to insert that product. Okay, now we're in our Categories Products Test. We're in that the, the category of test and we now see that we actually have a product there. So if we go back to our cart, if we refresh it, it should update with your category. This is your new category that you've created and it's test and it actually has a product in it and that's my product. That's the title of it, the um, test product. This is a test and there's a picture. You can add it to your cart. Um, to, that tells how many units in stock and the shipping weight. Most carts that I design, I take this information off, but this is basically just to show you how to add that product. And then when you click on it, you get the pop-up of the larger image of your product. Okay, so that's basically how to add one. It's pretty simple. Those rules also apply for if you want to edit a product that you have. You come over um, on that same page. If you want to like edit your quantity or, or change the status to unavailable, you just click that green button and then it'll go to red, and that means that the product is no longer available. Um, if you want to edit it, you can either click on the whole row, anywhere on the row, and it'll change to your little linky finger, or you can click on the E for edit. The red X is delete. You probably don't want to do that. The M is for move. If you have multiple categories and you would like to move this to another category, you can move it. If there were other categories in this card already, it would give me some options once I clicked on it, but this one doesn't have anywhere to go. You could copy it to another category so that you've got um, two instances of the same product. It might fall into two different categories. Attributes. Um, this is um, how you would edit the size. You know, if you if you wanted to include sizing options and color options, you would click on the attribute features and then pick and choose. And I'll explain how to how to edit the attributes in a second video. And this is to um, manage the price. And then this is to, if you'd like to define keywords for your product, you can define it through the meta tags. So that's basically it for adding a product in a category to your Zencart. Um, that's probably the main function that you'll be using this for. You could also um, go to, you know, your admin home, and it'll, in your home page, it will let you know when you've got a new customer, um, it'll say new customer when you have a new order. It'll also alert you if you've got reviews that you need to approve before they can go onto your store. If you um, are running low on your inventory, this is where you want to come to see how your store is doing. So I hope that helps you with using your Zencart, and um, thank you for watching.